You, of course, are one of the greatest Knicks to ever play the game. What is your kind of opinion on the state of the Knicks at the moment? Well, right now, the Knicks are in transition. Um, obviously, Phil Jackson is no longer the, the president of the organization. Uh, you have new leadership in, in Steve Mills. You have a new general manager. It, it appears that the roster is going to be going through a transition. Whether Carmelo Anthony remains with the Knicks uh, be, beyond this season, it's, it's, it's a wait and see. You have rumors about, about trades. And so it's going to be really interesting. Of course, a lot of the reports right now are that Kyrie Irving could potentially go to the Knicks. <laughs> do you think the Knicks should do whatever they can to make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's one of the greatest players in the game. Obviously, uh, the man has won a championship, and I'm surprised, along with everyone else, that uh, he would want to leave Cleveland at this point, uh, having gone to three straight uh, NBA Finals. But sometimes you, you never know what the objective is of, of a player. But whatever happens, I'm sure it would be for the best, and I'm sure the fans will be thrilled. <laughs> and lastly, what do you want the culture of the Knicks to be? When people think of the New York Knicks, what do you want to come to mind for them? Yeah, I want the Knicks to represent toughness. I want them to represent guys that will come out and play their heart out. I know that when I donned that uniform, I had goosebumps running up and down my arm. I'm representing the legacy of the organization. So any player that uh, wears that uniform has to recognize and realize that some of the greatest players that's ever played the game of basketball represented that organization. Thank you so much for your time, and congrats on the honor. Thank you, Tyler.